Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a phone call off a friend the other day uh, regarding his battery charger on his boat. He has a Better 2 311 clipper. Uh, apparently this battery charger is fitted from the factory, a standard charger for this model of boat. And it has a fault, it's not charging the batteries, but it's also a mains distribution board. So basically it powers the entire boat via the shore power. So he'd like us to have a look at it and see if there's anything we can do with it. I said bring it down, we'll have a look and we'll see if we can fix it. So, you know, today's video is going to be actually investigating and trying and repairing um, the, the battery charger. So I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, please give us a like, uh, hit the subscribe button and also please share this video. Thank you very much. Let's go and fix the battery charger. So, first things first, we're going to remove the two screws. We're going to remove the panel and see what's inside. So, of course we have some breakers here, which is standard, you know, the standard breaker system for the mains distrib distribution. A panel, a bit of a transformer in the center, and a lot of fuses. So first things first, I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll investigate the fuses. So let's have a quick look, test the meter, get the meter out, and we'll just test these fuses first of all, to see if we've got any, uh, you know, make sure the door fuse is blown, which is the first thing you'd ever check on anything. Okay, so that fuse has got a reading, that's good. You know, there's no blown fuse there. And I think there's one more fuse, I don't see another one there, battery fuse. Okay, we'll just check that one. Okay, so no, the fuses are fine. Yeah, fuses are good. So, let's have a deeper investigation and see what we can find next. Uh, what shall we test next? Okay, so, yeah, okay, so what we'll have a look now, we'll have a look at these diodes here. We'll check the diodes and see what they're, if we're getting any readings on the diodes. Yeah, we've got a good reading on the diodes there, that one's okay. Okay, reading on that diode, so diodes look good. We're gonna eliminate them. Let's just have a look a second, let's have a look at this other part of the panel here. So we'll just notice that down here, look, we've got some um, some more diodes. diodes yeah, so let's, uh, let's check them. We'll do a test on these diodes, three lots. Okay, so that's shown correct, and if you swap it around the other way, yeah, we should be getting a different reading. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, so it looks like we're a short on this diode. So which one's this one? This is the very end one. Yeah, it looks like there's a, there's a short on that diode. Yeah, and that one goes to service point two, which was the, is obviously the second output on the charging system. So I think we may have found the problem.
skip forward about five minutes uh, after the desoldering because obviously it was a slow process. But we don't want to bore you desoldering all the way along. So now, all desoldered, we're now going to, and we've also removed the screws. So we're now going to remove the board and lift it off the diodes to further inspect the diodes and just give them another test. That's it, all right, okay. So as you can see, the diodes are bolted through. That was the reason for having to disconnect the uh, board first and actually desolder it. So what we're going to do now is just do a quick test on the diode that we think is the problem to see if the readings, see if it is that problem. Okay, yeah, so that diode is definitely broken. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, them diodes are good. So, it's definitely this one. This is the fault. Well, this is one of the faults we found. There could be more, but this looks like the problem. So, all right. So, what I think we need to do now is track down a diode to try and replace it with. So, we'll see if we can find a diode. Okay, guys. So, we've had a been digging around some parts to see if we can find a diode anywhere. And we found an old uh, Samsung Plasma TV board. So luckily it has a few diodes in it. So just doing a quick research, we just found that the original diode was an MBR3045PT. Um, ampage is 30 amp with 45 volt. And everything, you know, is, is what it says on the tin. It is actually perfect. Because um, we've now found the one that we're using from the plasma um, has, a read, has, a, has a rating of 200 volt max, which is still good. And of course 30 amp. Um, so yeah, so this this will work perfectly providing that this diode also hasn't failed So we'll do a test on that and uh, see how it goes Okay, time to desolder the diode from the plasma TV circuit board By the way guys these Diodes to desolder them uh, on the previous uh, panel weren't easy to get you know, they're not straightforward um, They do take a bit of work and a bit of time but, you know, they come out eventually. But just be patient and, um, you know, take your time and make sure you suck that solder out. But always just remember, guys, just to add a little bit of solder to the job, which obviously helps heat it up and helps it release the diode quicker. So, you know, it releases the solder a lot faster. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we'll come back when that's done. Okay, so hopefully that should be out. Yes, perfect. Okay, so one diode. Uh, it's time to remove this diode. Okay, so we're going to test the diode. Yeah, that's given us, that's perfect. Yes. Okay, so this dial is looking good. There's no short. It's doing what it's you know doing what it's supposed to currently. All right, so we're happy to have a go at swapping this diode now, and uh, obviously re, re put the board back together and um, solder it all up, and hopefully, hopefully, guys, it works. Okay, so the new diode's in place. There's the old one sat there, it's now in place. Unfortunately, um, the legs were a little, little bit short on the diode we've used from the plasma TV, but of course it still clears it, it still goes through. So, let's solder it.
soldered. Yeah, everything looks good, you know, it's back in. Let's just um, get some screws back in the board. Get it all fixed up. Board's just slightly, slightly out there. We can just give it a bit of a tweak. We did have a bit of a problem getting one of the screws out, which is quite awkward to get out, was this, this one here. Uh, rounded it off, but we managed to get it out. So we may have to find a new screw for it or just, um, you know, we normally put things back together properly. We could always leave it out. It's not really going to cause many problems, but this unit was going to end up in the bin if it wasn't for having a quick, quick review of it. Okay, so it's got a screw back in the hole now. It's okay, next step, we'll test it out. Okay, so it's now time to test it. What we've done is we've put some bulbs, 12 volt bulbs, uh, on the outputs for the charging system. Uh, previously, obviously, of course, it wasn't working at all. It wasn't giving any output uh, because of the broken diode. So now we're going to just quickly do a test to make sure it actually gives us some sort of output and it's under a little bit of load because using the bulbs of course has given us that factor so here we go let's turn it on see what happens all right yes okay so we've now got a bit of load under it two bulbs both lit up uh, looks like we fixed it okay yeah led is no longer yes it thumbs up yes all right okay so Previously as well, that green LED was just lighting up very, very dim. It wasn't actually, you know, as you see it now. So yeah, so obviously that, that was showing us they had some sort of short. Uh, so now it looks like it's uh, ready to install back into the boat. Excellent. Okay. So great news. The battery charge is now fixed. Shows you that you can actually just fix things with just rubbish. You know, an old circuit board from a, you know, a broken plasma TV uh, screen. Uh, had the right diode for us you know it wasn't the exact part number but it's exactly the same and it works fine so just goes to show you can kind of fix anything you know don't throw things in the bin don't chuck something away because you think it's broke and it's not working or it's not doing what it's supposed to do simple fixes simple little tests you know and have a go at doing it if it doesn't work it doesn't work you know but you know this is where it's process elimination find the problem fix the problem and then you know it's you've now saved yourself you know 450 pound 500 pound for you you know a two that you know that's a 2002 approximately old system but to replace it with a 2019 system you're probably looking at around about four four fifty five hundred pound you know british pounds so you know easy saving of money you know it can now be installed back on his boat he'll be happy so yeah so listen guys if you have liked what you see today and you've just enjoyed it you know please please hit the subscribe button you know switch your notifications on for any future videos so, this has been the channel. We'll see you again soon. Peace.